William. Let's get back to it. I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having fun. Again, this is a game, these ga types of games I really enjoy. I'm just bad at them. Um, I tried playing with Stone Monkey earlier. I can't get its mechanics down. Its whole thing is that you like, you make these like clones of yourself and then they do like attacks and everything. I just kept forgetting that it's a thing. And considering that's like the main mechanic of this guy, I just, it just, I died very quickly, so. We'll try him out here until I find something I maybe like a bit better. See what skull we can get at the end of this one. Oh, actually, we get two skulls here because there's the uh, the old man and the the old sleepy boy. All right, what you got for us, old man? Here, you got. Crap. I'm just gonna break this one. Oh, god. Alright. Ooh, we got living armor. Oh, okay. Living armor. A knight's sword and armor with the only soul remaining after the body rotted away. So this is when dealing damage to enemies with normal attacks, gains charges in the form of flame spirits. Uh, when the flame spirit gauge is fully charged, it goes into a state of combustion, dealing continuous magic damage. When a skill is used during combustion, the skill is enhanced and all flame spirits are consumed. So you can punch in place with a fist, and you can soul burn. Ooh. And he's a... yeah, he's a power. Curious to see what the upgraded version of the skills are. So if I do. Oh, that's really good. And then the fist, what does the fist look like? Wow! Alright, cool. Alright, so now that we have. We already got a unique one right off the bat, so that's pretty cool. So now all we need is like a hundred fragments and we should be able to get this guy all the way up to um, legendary and we'll get ourselves another achievement by doing that. So that's cool. Um, all right, what do we got on us here? Magic attack by 20%, normal attacks of 2% chance to inflict burn and crit rate plus uh, 8%. So yeah, this is a magic dealing person. Uh... Alright, we'll grab a hate stone. Why not? Nice. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cool. Alright, that was easy. 
Um, banded wedding ring. School cooldowns have 25%. Or do I get more? You know, I'm just gonna go for the bone fragments. I want to get this to uh, potentially as fast to legendary as possible. So we're gonna do that. Oh my gosh. kind of cool about this actually is also that uh, when they're upgraded they don't even use the like there's no skill cooldown with these so I can kind of do like fire then followed by and then do it again it's pretty cool all right Let's see what do we got here standard edition so again, we want man attack, arson, artifact. Um, we'll restock ones. Gain increase gold by 30, 25%, increase max HP by 35. That's pretty good. Uh, skill generates man attack. Actually, get both of these. Nice. All right. See. All right. See how much money. How much money we get. I don't know how far the range is on this, uh... Jeez. Uh, I want to know how far the range is on the, the fire ability. This would be cool if I could, like, potentially cheese some fights here and there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. About to say that fire ability is gonna be really good against a passive one that's not moving as long as we actually got it. Okay, um So this item is somewhat something I've been chasing after for so long. Okay. Every time 10 HP is recovered, your physical and magical attack increase by 1%. And when it reaches 300, 300 or basically 30 stacks, um, it turns into the World Tree Siege. I have gotten so fucking close. And the trick is with this one, if you pick it up now, and then you go here, you heal up, and then you now already have force, 4 stacks. So there have been times where I've accidentally picked up the health and then picked up that thing and then it's starting you at zero because it doesn't count anything before. It just counts from when it's picked up, so. It also is kind of weird because it requires you to be hit, you know? So. To then get that buff from it, you have to kind of get a little beat up here. Which is kind of counterintuitive of what you really want to be doing, but... Yeah, don't need to be getting this... Yeah, I'm so curious what it turns into when you reach, uh, when it reaches 30 stacks. clear three rooms sure most important thing to me is that it heals me up um critical hits inflict poison increases magic attack oh man we got two of the fairy tales no nah, that's it's too far in i'm so far away from that um What artifact? Is there any artifacts ones? It's fairy tale and heirloom. Fairy tale and arson. Shuffle once. Oh, heirloom. No. It's not what I want. Alright, fine. We'll take the fucking generator. Just under 50 away. Cool. Oh god, this is gonna be one of the trap rooms. No, it says I'm immune to trap damage, right? Yeah. Cool. I actually don't have to worry about it too much. Alright, that makes this kind of nice. Just tank the damage here, and then fly over, and then beat this guy up. There we go. What do we got here? I'm going to switch that with that, and then 
so that way we get 11. We're 30 away. Probably won't get in until we beat the next set of bosses, which is fine. It's it's very rare to go into uh, the second boss fight with a legendary skull. Unless you're just insanely lucky. I'm getting my shit beat out of here. You ninja asshole. Keep teleporting. Stop it. Stop it. Die already. Die already. No, stop. Yes, give me all your potions. Uh, Frost Skull. We'll turn that into more fragments. We don't have enough to upgrade our guy. Already at like 15, or halfway there to turning that item into like the world tree seed or whatever. It's pretty cool. Oh, I did get an item. I was like, wait, why is there a ninja star coming out of me? Um, oh, cool. I got his thief armor, so I throw a ninja star and then on crits it deals a big ninja star. Me. You take those. Free extra little bit of damage here and there. Oh, boy. Oh, we got the slime guy. I love this guy. So he's just, he just like, turns into an item that you possess. It's a random item, but he just turns into one. So you could have like, two copies. It's kind of cool. Um, so what do I want at least? This bow. It does nothing for me. Yeah. So now, uh, s s increase skill down cool speed by 40%. So now we have two of them, so that's 80%. And stunning an enemy creates a wave that inflicts stun on other nearby, which means it now does that twice. And dizziness um, is even better, and same with man attack. It's just it's so cool that he's basically just a little duplicator, because in this you can't really duplicate items normally, I don't think. Um, if you get an item, you can't just get another one of that same item. Oh boy. Hi. Alright, let us heal up. 30% of HP. I'm gonna first see if there's anything. Ooh. I'll take that. Um, just see if there's anything here that maybe increases my HP first before I take anything. Because it's always percentage, so if I increase my HP, then the percent, obviously, that I'm getting healed will go up to. Um, so I can actually afford to get rid of this thing now, because I have enough uh, in mana tech that doesn't really matter. And my hidden blade and artifact will go up. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Alright, let's go buy this. 
Right, I have 21 now of 30. That's pretty fucking good. And my attack and everything's gone up. Until we clear a couple of maps. It's cool. So now... Yeah, so magic attacks increased by 45%. So now we have 226% of magic attack. Um... And yeah, that's cool. Mess that up. Here we go. Alright. Cool. Alright, so now we have enough uh, guaranteed that when I go to... when I beat the next boss... Um, oh, come on. Sorry. Then I can upgrade the living armor to legendary. Cool. Uh, if I make it there, because there's a lot of fucking globes coming at me, oh my god. Stop it. Be deleted. There we go. Oh god, it's one of these. Alright. These are one of the fights that I really wish I could cheese. And I try my best to cheese him sometimes because like this is like haha you have to fight all these enemies in this room where you're basically getting uh, fireballs thrown at you the entire time so. And I hate it because it just gets you dealt a lot of damage. Come here. This guy I can at least... No? Yeah, I can... Oh, almost. Come on. I need to cheese this so I don't take a shit ton of damage right before the boss fight. Oh, stop it. Stop hurting me. That's the opposite of what I want. Come here. Yes, I'm already at 56. Ugh, they're gonna beat the shit out of me. God, be deleted already. Thank you. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Right. There goes our one revive. Oh god, oh god. No, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please, 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 please. I just want to get the achievement. Achievement! Thank you. <laughs> Alright. 
where we're gonna get the achievement. Ooh. Alright. Our world tree C got upgraded. Holy shit. Okay. Um This is the first time I've done this as well. Okay, so increases physical attack and magical attack by 40% and swapping summons a world tree. Uh lasts for 15 seconds. Standing near it increases physical and magical attack by 60%, reduces damage taken by 20%. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Um, okay, what other item do I want to pick up then? Hidden Blade, I really don't care about that much. And T, this one I'm not using at all. So what do I want? I want... Uh... Man, none of these really. Okay, we'll just find something cool then. After using a skill... Use mana eater to stab an enemy in front of you. Okay. Um, this one's pretty cool. Damage to random enemy, 13 seconds. Poisoning an enemy. I don't care about poison. Depending on the higher rarity of your two health skulls, your gold increases. Okay, I don't care about that. Alright. Oh, wait, but that gives me HP. Oh, fuck. Alright. Um, we'll get rid of this then. Cool. Sweet. Did two things this run that I haven't done before. I haven't I've never gotten that world tree seed upgraded. And uh, I've never made living armor into a legendary, so let's see what that turns into. Let's get that sweet achievement. Ooh, Soul Knight. Oh fuck yeah. Um Though my body may disappear, the power of the great soul will burn throughout eternity. Uh, when dealing damage, uh, gains charges, okay. Uh, when fully charged twice, it becomes stable. Um, when a skill is used during combustion, the skill is enhanced and all flame spirits are consumed. When a skill is used while stable, the skill is enhanced even further and consumes a portion of the gains. Oh shit. And we got, so yeah, we got Soul Knuckle and Soul Burn. Okay. So is it stable right now? It must be. Oh my god. Okay, so this is it with it, like, in its current form, so it does the fire attack, and... And then with it enhanced, oh my god, it does such a massive damage. And, like, it's so large. I grant it, it's like, this one's easy because I'm beating up these dummies, but I want to see... That ignites every fucking surface! Holy shit! That's not even just the fucking area around you, that is literally every goddamn surface on the map. Even the ones you can't see, like... Holy shit, you could just wipe out entire floors with that. Alright, yeah, let's fucking go, this is sick. Like, hi! Everyone want to just burn to death right now? I'm not gonna release her. I love these skills. These skills are fucking cool. Uh oh. Ow. Oh. 
Hi everyone, ever. You wanna just like fucking... Like, oh my god. Literally just fucking killing them all. Like the punch is cool, but the punch is, it got fucking nothing on the other one. That's insane. That's actually insane. Um, ooh, kicks. Restores 50% of health, but increases coming, increases incoming damage by 30% until you clear one map. Uh, Bone of Madness. Uh, shit. I don't actually know if I want that. Because that's good. That is basically our health back up to full. Alright, I'll take it, and then we'll we'll just try to cheese this as much as we can. And we're going to start by getting ourselves to a stable. Uh, we'll go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I didn't like knife this. Interesting. It didn't ignite this surface over here for some reason, but it did ignite all those ones up there. Okay. Hey, if it stops them from summoning whatever fucking thing, and it basically wipes out this floor, I'm cool with it. What are those lines? What are they doing down there? Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Also, hi Harpy Knight. Thanks for the bones. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot about the world tree. Yo, we got champion. Alright, so who's champion? Champion is one of the skulls that is already legendary. So you just it, you don't have to upgrade it or anything like that. Um, and he's super, super cool. I tried using him once. I got my ass kicked because my health was too low. Um, I personally like Soul Knight a lot better. Sorry. No offense to, um, Champion, but, um, that's cool that we got two legendaries in this run. Let's just do this. Let's just let's just clear out this map. <laughs> so insane that that's basically what it does. Uh, thief's black dagger, Minotex circulator, freezing enemy triggers the frost, which is magic. Could probably replace this with the hate stone, eh? Yeah. Because they're both artifact, I'm not losing anything in that sense, but this seems pretty good in terms of freezing people. Alright. We're about to head into a mini boss, which means let's beat the shit out of some dummies here. And then, so that way we're going into it.
Not stable just yet. There we go. Even doing this, like, you're, you're almost always on the ground, so there's a lot of damage to him. I don't like that he's just staying in the corner, though. Come on out of here. I am actually pretty close to dying here. I don't like that. You need to die faster. Woo! By that I don't mean kill me. Don't kill me. Alright, here we go. No health potions from you guys, really? Wow. That's fucking rude. Uh, Alright, we'll grab a Quintessence. We'll actually use it this time around. Yeah, so like if you try to awaken when you have... Um, when you already have like legendary skulls, she's just like, nah, 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 nah. Uh, actually gotta be careful, I'm pretty close to death here. That's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Oh, okay, that's not good. It's very not good. Ah! Yep. Oh, I didn't realize they were summoning it. Fuck. Alright, well... Well... <laughs> I took way too much damage during that fight against the three mini bosses, which that's on me. I shouldn't have relied so much on that one ability, but it's just so cool. You just set everything on fire. How fucking cool is that?